What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Haven't been on much this weekend. It's been a beautiful weekend here on the Maryland Eastern Shore. As you can hear the bikes driving by, there's a big bike convention down there in Ocean City, Maryland. Um, so I've been just uh, getting yard work done, getting some stuff done, enjoying, trying to get rid of this uh, cold thing I've had or whatever. My, th my throat has been killing me the last couple of weeks. I've been thinking I've had, or last week, or if you've watched my videos, I've been complaining. But I got this in. I figured this would be a real quick, easy video where I didn't have to talk too much to make. I got this in from Michael Asvedo. He uh, basically sent me this. This is another one of the guys that send me things every once in a while. I'm sure he's one of our subscribers out here. Um, he sent me this and he said what and I'll read it here this is Mike I wanted to point out an interesting find it sure looks like a dinosaur skull I've attached a picture of a real dinosaur skull for you to make the comparison I've also attached a photoshop photo with the question yeah let me know what you think so basically I, I want to open this to you guys here's what he sent me with it um, here's the picture right there um, also he sent some other anomalies around here that are around it and I uh, and here's the other picture here the actual dinosaur skull let's see if we can't edit we're going to dump this right into that picture there and see if we can't see what it looks like, you know, just kind of here on it. There we go. Drop right on in. And let's see here. View, workspace. Let me get this back to my other workspace. All right. It does kind of look, well, hey, I tell you what, it does look like it. Wow. Even with the shape out here, if we're looking right here at the back side of it, too bad we can't look down on it. Um, but here's this little piece here up on top. You can't see any little divots, but, uh, you know, you really can't see that spot of it. Here you've got uh, what looks like an eye or at least a socket for an eye. You can't see down into it, see if that's hollow through there. But either way, it does look like this could come around. It does a little nose slot. I mean, it doesn't have to be the exact same as here on Earth, of course, because if we're looking at something out on Mars, you know, who only knows what it would look like. Um, you know, compared to what something that actually evolved here on Earth. But either way, I th that looks pretty cool. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Comment let me know. It's definitely interesting. Let's take a look around here and see if we can uh, see anything else real fast while we're here. That's what we do. Let me hit the auto color, see if it brings it out some. And then let me do my exposure. Give it a little bit of gamma. Just to pop some stuff out a little bit. Ooh, here we go. Darken it up a tad, put it out. Um, a lot of these real flat rocks around here, it looks like we've got some interesting stuff here at the top of this picture. See there's some uh, square-like things. And as it comes out here, um, really nice cut. I mean, if this is shale or if this is a rock, some of this, like I said, I've been over these a thousand times. I've said, you know, something has happened on Mars. Whatever it was, there was a catastrophe there. And uh, whatever was there, whatever civilization it was just thrown about, blocks everywhere and that's what more of what we see everywhere we go more and more what's this out here on the uh, this is some sort of snake or something here let's see that oh let's see if i can find that there it is right there check that out um comes up and curves around pretty cool whatever that is right there it almost looks like a snake it looks like it's not carved into it, it looks like it's a, something on top of it you know either that or a piece of rope now, I'm thinking a lot of stuff on Mars. Now, I've also got people say that there's a current civilization there, small aliens. I'm definitely seeing ruins everywhere we go. And I'm slowly moving over to the camp of everybody else. You know, it's, it, there's a whole lot going on up there. And if, if these pictures are even from Mars, and I'm giving a big if there because, you know, who knows? <laughs> With some of, the, some of the stuff we have going on, I pray they're from there because I'd be highly disappointed if they weren't. But down here, too, look at this. Looks like more another... Um, this is what he had, he had pointed this out too. This looks like another skull of some sort. Almost even has the mouth, the eye. Um, maybe there was a whole bunch there. Uh, maybe they went by the way of the dinosaurs like here on Earth. I, what's interesting is uh, this right here was the rope saw piece I had done earlier. It's uh, if, uh, this, this came from that same saw. And it's right here where it looked like a rope saw to me. And I mentioned this cut right here could have easily been dropped in by a rope saw. But I don't, it's definitely a chip that looks like it was cut out on purpose. Like that was used somewhere else as a piece of rock or something along those lines. Um, or like, you know, something. But check this out here. More and more rubble that's got perfect oval to it. And you always see that NASA 
the what they make it these little lines effects this here looks like it's been blurred in so you don't see this coming up it's even got a shadow look at this coming off of, look at that coming up off the back there it goes up and it's a circle and even has a shadow with a circle right there under it that's interesting this whole picture is interesting here and here another what looks to seem be like a snake look here it winds itself down winds itself up comes around here comes out and there's a tail more would seem to be just worked blocks, things like that. Everything's been buried. The wind up there is insane, so we know it's got a lot of wind. Um, that looks to be just kind of carved into that right there, whatever that is. But shapes, look at this. How many, uh, this is like a perfect, and it's been blurred out, whatever's on top of it. See, that this is what I this is what I can't stand. It's like, why even use it? And uh, People think, I, for some reason, I think that it's a computer doing it that does the blur and it puts the blinds effects, what I call blind effects, on. Um, but check this out. This kind of looks like a face of some sort with uh, an eyes, nose, and a mouth, and it's facing this way, looking that way, with a big headdress up here. But see how stuff looks kind of blurred out and blotched out there? Very interesting up going. What's going up there on Mars, guys? I'll tell you what. I would love to be one of the first people to roll up on there. There's Kim. That's my new girl. I'm sure you've seen her picture on my thing. She's awesome. Not the reason that she's she's a a busy girl too. So that's not the reason I haven't making videos. I have Jenny Lynn be sick. Jenny Lynn been sick. So and I've been doing yard work. Like I said, it's been fun. It's been a good couple of weeks. You guys see anything else up here? Let me do one more thing. Uh, let me hit the auto contrast on this and see if there's anything. To see if it bright, brightens anything else out. Sticks anything else out, I see. This was cool right here, whatever this is. I love to even say that that definitely looks like it's something that was made. And it's been blurred. It's got that bar effect up here that they add when they don't want you to know what something is. This thing here has got a little notch on it too. This kind of looks like it's been blurred as well. And then right here, it looks like some sort of tool rock, something like that. Interesting under here. We can't make too much of that, what exactly that is. But very interesting stuff on Mars, my friends. Whoa, I didn't notice that before. Check that out. Look at the pattern on that. Let's back that up a little bit, see if it stays there. Yeah, that was there. Wow. That's an interesting pattern, whatever that is. And it's by rocks. It looked to seem to be, seem to be shaped. This seems to be shaped too, whatever this was. And it's just buried there. So like I said, I think we've got a nice little civilization up there buried. But uh, what do you think? Think they had dinosaurs? I know we've got plenty of dinosaur videos, you know, bones and stuff like that. So you think that this is probably some sort of bone. Um, it does look kind of like bones. So let me know what you guys think. That's why we put stuff up. I'm sure uh, Michael would love to hear it because that's the say he wants. I let him know what I think. There you go. That's what I think, buddy. It definitely looks like what you sent over. Let me show you one more time the uh, what the dinosaur. This is just one from here on Earth somewhere. And uh, what he had sent over to my email. If you guys have anything, email it to me. I promise everybody who emails me stuff, I will try to get to your videos as soon as possible. I have like a hundred to make. No time to do it, but I will keep plugging away at these things. I love you guys. Much love to you. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Wonderful weekend. It's actually the end of the weekend. I hope you have a good Monday. Good week coming up. Much love, guys. Peace. What's up in the sky, 37? What's up in the sky.com, that Lego Rover. We're almost up to 10,000 subscribers. When I hit 10,000 subscribers, if you've signed up for my website, if you, all you have to do is go to www.whatsupinthesky.com, hit register. And if you, for some reason you have trouble with the little CAPTCHA thing, email me. I'll make sure you get registered. Once I hit 10,000, I'm going to pull a name, and we're going to give that Rover away. So much love, guys. Take it easy. Peace.